All right, I am so excited to show you all the results of my first ever attempt at cleaning my adapts with Super Clean. Yeah, as seen on TV. I can't believe this, so. All right, so I zoomed in so we could get rolling. I got my solution here ready. Got my microfiber towel for cleaning. And I'm gonna start with this bad boy right here and basically get my brush. Put it in there, make sure it gets nice and sudsy. I'm not getting too sudsy, because it is a small concentration. And I'm gonna just go in and wish me luck. So I don't go in too hard. I generally go in pretty light at first just to see what happens. Because once again, I've never used super clean before on my skates. But this area had a lot of hits, so I think we'll see right away what's possible. Ooh, definitely got a lot going on in the mixture. So I'm gonna do this whole half of the skate before I let it dry and evaluate. I'll make sure to speed this up so you guys aren't watching. It's really where it gets dirty, right here on this toe protector. Get the microfiber towel. Try to wipe some of this off. Not bad, not bad. And let's just keep moving around. For those tuning in, I'm using the Rejuvenator brushes but with a super clean concentration inside of the mix. It's my cleaning agent. Using the Rejuvenator metal brass brush their heavy duty brush. Um, I feel like with the wax and stuff, you need a heavy duty brush. Something soft is just not gonna cut it. It's not gonna get all up in there. Try to go in circular motions. Let's hope I don't have to dye these black after this. <laughs> I just mess them up for good and have to dye them black. That would be terrible. I'm going to clean both of these skates off using this new technique, not the heat gun. Hoping that the degreasing agent inside of the super clean will actually get through some of the wax. Generally see how in good condition my skates structurally are. test because that's got all the lines. I'm trying to treat it like I would my sneaker collection. I love them like my sneakers. So why not treat them like my sneakers? I use them more. It's one skate down. Just gonna give it a nice wipe. And then I'm gonna put this bad boy in the sun to dry. Mostly everywhere. The roof, that's exciting. All right, on to bad boy number two. I like that instead of buying new skates, I can just think about cleaning my skates. Getting the age off of them that way. Buy more parts always. You don't have to buy new skates, it's a win. I, will get at least. I know people like to buy new skates, like to support the companies that way. This is like what you like. I keep my comfy skates that I know and love for as long as possible. This is what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to do. Now my hand is cramping. There's a lot of, a lot of surface area to clean. Once again, thank you to Super Clean for sending me this package to test out. It's been a long time in the making. I said I would do a little quick review on how this works. Sometimes it takes me a little longer because I want my skates to be like really beat up. This material is so durable. It like just, it's like absorbing all of the liquid.
So that's like an area where there's heavy wax, as I missed. Same with here. So this is also an area of heavy wax. You need to give that a little more scope. Some of those built in protective measures by ADAPT. So smart. So smart. I really feel like I'm about to have brand new ish. Or they're going to be bleached into some crazy color, and I'm going to have to fix it. <laughs> because I've never used Super Clean before on my skates. Probably should have tested it in some little zone first. That's what they tell you to do. Look at that tongue. Oh, my God. Look how those laces get just in there. Wax laces have made their mark forever. I think the best I can hope for is that it's just clean around it. You can see how the water is getting really dirty. Either it's pulling off the color from my boots, it's actually cleaning off the dirt and all the wax. Rejuvenator brush, super clean, diluted. I used a rejuvenator kit that I have for my sneakers including the rejuvenator sham. Didn't do much, you know. Just take off some excess water on the surface. And now, now that these bad boys have been cleaned up, time to put them in the sun. See what happens. Straight up though, without any like further ado, Super Clean was sent to me by the company, so they asked me to try this. They asked for an honest review. I do appreciate anyone who's going to reach out to me to try to offer a new solution to inline skaters for something that we face all the time. I am going to preface and say I've tried these on a suede new buck skate, so it will be different for plastic. I did try to clean some plastic parts earlier with the Super Clean, had mixed results. I cleaned my bearings with the Super Clean at a 16 to 1 ratio and it was awesome. My fruit tech bearings got super clean and really ready to be just like re-lubricated and used again. So do maintain your bearings. Fruit tech, shout out to you as always for supporting me and my skating. So go check out fruittechhardware.com for all your bearing needs for sure. Um, but back to the real reveal. And that's how amazing these skates look. And I mean like they are rough. I think I might next time not use as heavy of a scrub first i might knowing that the degreasing agent in super clean took care of the wax so well i probably would go in with a softer brush and not the brass brush i had to use the brass brush last time because i couldn't get through the wax without heating it with the heat gun the degreasing agent inside of the super clean just handle that like you don't feel any of the wax here on this skate and it's the same for this one. Like I had a huge like buildup right there. You can see the indentation. I was doing that in my fruit tech intro edit. I jump to Soyal. I jump a fence to Soyal to 180 out. And I missed a couple times and was grinding right here. And that was full of wax. I mean like just deep in there. That's all gone up here in this area. Even in the protector area, it's all gone. It just ate through that wax. So at a 16 to one ratio, it cleaned up these skates nice, nice. Now they're not brand new, you know, you can still see the lace lines in there, but those were like prominent black lines that like you couldn't feel the suede and no, all that suede is back. All the suede feels really good. There was no loss of color. So it didn't do anything to diminish the color. I thought at first this wasn't going to come clean and I was going to do some, maybe some painting, make it custom. No, I'm going to put these back together. Shout outs to Super Clean. I've seen on TV, it works. And in real life, it works. If you are a blader and you're looking for a product that you can use to clean your skates, especially if you have adapt skates, check out Super Cleaner. If you are trying to clean some adapts, it's amazing. It is a great product. So shout outs to Super Clean for sending me this product to test. If you are in the market for a product to clean your adapt skates or your bearings, check out Super Clean. I used it at a 1 to 16 
ish ratio. I didn't measure, I just used a little to a whole lot, and it did a wonderful job. So, thank you once again, Super Clean, for hooking me up. These skates are crisp and ready to be put back together. I'm gonna be testing out some new frames. Shout out to all of you. As always, subscribe if you like these videos, thumbs them up if you feel the content. Do hit me up in the comments down below. Try this out. If you do try it, tell me how does it work for you. And peace and blessings. Upgrade your gray matter because one day it may matter. Skate safe so you can skate forever. Peace.